Hey guys, my name is Gloria and welcome back to my channel. So today I have recently received the January Portable Magic Books subscription box. So this is the first, my first new books of the year. Um, I have ordered books for myself. Just a couple of um, horror books that I saw a lot of last year and I really wanted to try out. But these are the first subscription ones that I got. So let's see what Jenny has in store. So the Portable Magic Books uh, is an Irish subscription box. Uh, you get the usual um, hot drinks, treats. You get a new book and a second hand book and you generally get a, a postcard or a, a unique uh, bookmark as well. So today's bookmark, I got a little postcard uh, that says Buddhist scriptures. So I think it's um, it's a cover of a Penguin's Classics book. So that's interesting. Uh, let's see what grants we have. Let's also see if we're filming. We are filming, aren't we? Back to back to back. Open up this bag. Okay, we have chamomile, yes, chamomile infusion tea. We have some Venetia coffee. We have another chamomile. And a lemon and ginger. So I actually still have a lot of the hot drinks from last year because um, I wasn't drinking a lot of even ordinary tea um, by the end of last year. Still have a lot of hot chocolates um, that I have to get through. Uh, so we also have a treats bag. Oh, it's purple. What did I get? Ooh, Jacob's Elite. I'm so easily amused. You stick a purple wrapper on anything and I'll fucking have it. And a classic breakaway. These are these are classic uh, tea snacks, I think. I've had some horrifying... I've seen some horrifying videos of people making tea recently. Americans, uh, in particular. I know they don't have kettles, so they like make boiling water in the microwave. But I saw a video of someone who first filled a mug with milk and then put boiling water in it and then put a tea bag in and um, I consider that a, a war crime to be honest with you I think most most people on this side of the Atlantic would too uh, Anywho, we have for our first uh, second hand book of the year we have Wake by Elizabeth Knox. Uh, I have not heard of this book or this author, but I do like the uh, the cover. Uh, we'll see what this is about. A small community in New Zealand is struck by a sudden insanity. There are 14 survivors and one invisible monster that hasn't finished with them yet. Hmm, that really gives away absolutely nothing. Uh, but... Yeah, New Zealand. All hail New Zealand, the freaking champions of 2020, to be honest. But that looks really interesting. Um, I really like the cover. Struck with insanity. Uh, I wonder who the 14 survivors are. I wonder if they're like teenagers, adults. I wonder what's going on there. Um, this is the brand new book that you get with each box. Let's see what we have today. <gasps> is this a book that I almost bought and that I really want to read? <gasps> it is! You would have seen this book on Murr's channel. She has talked in a few different videos about the Plague Stones by James Brogdon and since she talked about it, I've really wanted it and it's just sheer luck that I didn't um, buy this when I was buying a few at the start of the year, but yes, um, I'm really happy with this. I'm so glad I get to read this. This is great. Uh, if you haven't seen uh, Murr's videos on this or if you've forgotten like me, we'll see what it's about. She's waited centuries for revenge. 
Oh, I've already remembered <laughs> what it's about. After a brutal break-in leaves her family traumatized, Trish Feenan jumps at the chance of a fresh start in a charming historic community. Back, but in the back garden of her new cottage sits an unsettling reminder of past wrongs. A standing stone, once one of the markers that kept plague sufferers outside the village bounds, its powers renewed every year in a ritual that seems to be more than just local oddity. As the Fenans settle in, they experience unexplained accidents accompanied by sightings of a girl who vanishes into thin air. Soon it becomes obvious that there is a reason traditions must not slip and that all acts of betrayal, even those committed centuries ago, have consequences. This sounds cool, so I, I've just recently watched a video where Murs was talking about the inspiration for certain horror books and she did talk about this one and it's basically uh, there's sort of a, an entity um, that is sort of the personification of the plague and it's it's kept out by these plague stones and uh, things obviously go awry but I am very happy that I got this in this book because I was I was absolutely going to buy this at some point this year um, so now I don't have to and this one also I'm very interested in reading I don't think I've read a book set in New Zealand before oh no I did read um I did read a short story collection so there was uh, a, were a few uh, Maori um, myths and legends in that one as well but I've never read a novel set in New Zealand so cool and these the covers are very different for uh, horror novels as well the colours um, are rather cool so these are going to look pretty good on my shelf which is overflowing but uh, yeah I'm really happy with that that is a great start to the year a great um, indication of what is to come next uh, so that is the portable magic book subscription box for January and I am excited to get into these but I will be reading November and December uh, first I did quite like doing the reading vlog for these so I have six now from the subscription box so I might do like a week of just reading those books um, it's kind of fun to do and to compare them to each other and whatnot so might see how that goes but thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me today i really appreciate um you clicking on this video i really appreciate um people who've already subscribed if you like what i'm doing here you can like and subscribe down below and i shall see you in the next video